Now let's cross to our SAPC reporter, Simpio Makanya. He's there to, to tell us more about what's happening. A very good morning to you, Simpio. Thank you so much for joining us. What should we expect today? Good morning to you, Simpiwa Pearl, as well as our viewers at home. Well, certainly we are coming to you live from Ulundi Stadium. This is where the IFP, Inkata Freedom Party, will be trying by all means necessary to woo the voters ahead of the national polls on Wednesday. It was just two, two, two days away from Wednesday, as you can imagine. Uh, the party itself, uh, uh, Simpiwa, has been facing various challenges, but when the campaign started, the party did make it categorically clear that it wants now to govern the province of KwaZulu-Natal and also to increase the numbers in terms of its national support. With me, I have the Treasurer General of the IFP, Mr. Naren Singh. Mr. Singh, thank you very much for joining us. Two days away from, away from the polls, have you done enough to uh, convince voters, especially here in KwaZulu-Natal? Well, firstly, good morning to you and your viewers out there. Thank you for giving us an opportunity. Well, you can never do enough. You know, an election campaign is one that uh, runs over a long period of time. We, uh, we have accelerated in the last two months or so since our opening rally at Chatsworth. And uh, for all intents and purposes, I think it has gone well. But we're going to use this last 48 hours here today and the, from the message of our leader to convince our faithfuls and to convince the millions that will be watching on uh, 404 at 2 o'clock this afternoon live uh, that please come out and vote. And uh, it's very, very important that everybody makes their mark and hopefully the mark will be made for the IFP. Mm. Mr. Singh, uh, why should a person, uh, perhaps a person who's sitting at home uh, watching us now, you're saying you want to govern the province? of KwaZulu-Natal, of which you have in, in, in previous years, but unfortunately you, you lost the province. Why should they trust you this time around? Well, uh, we, we ran the province for 10 years, as you said, and we think, uh, we would like to think, and uh, the viewers who are watching would know that we ran it very, very well. There was no whiff of corruption. There was proper houses being built. We focused on quality, not quantity. We had education on the right track. We, we allowed uh, trade unions, teacher unions to operate, but they had to know where their space was. And uh, it's unfortunate that uh, in 2004, when we came back after the election, we lost the province to the ANC but I think viewers must remember it was not the ANC that had an outright majority they had the cooperation of parties and some will be surprised like the ACDP the UDM and the minority front those are the parties that gave the ANC the majority uh, in 2004 after the 2004 elections mm. don't you think that uh, when you look at the uh, leadership of the party in Gosman also to tell is leading the party from 1975 until today isn't that going to be a Danger somehow because a person uh, perhaps watching would say, but what happens after Ingosumang also to tell is a steps down? Uh, maybe we'll start to see internal squabbles and then the party will will split. Uh, the, the, the danger of having one leader leading the party for such a long time. No, to the contrary, he has been and will always be a great asset to the party. He has said that at our conference, which should be held within the next month or two, he will step down as leader of the party. We have already unanimously as a, a group group of about 2,500 delegates accepted that uh, uh, current mayor VF Klavisa who is our premier candidate for KZN, will be the new leader. And I think we're going to have a smooth transition. And uh, we deliberately uh, are going to hold the conference after the election because we felt at the time that it was too soon uh, before elections to get into uh, electing party leaders. But uh, Nkosi Mangasudu Botelezi has been a great asset, continues to be a great asset. And wherever we have gone around the country campaigning outside of the province, people look up to him as a person you can trust. And therefore, trust us is our campaign uh, slogan moving forward mm. in terms of the official program where we are when are we expecting proceedings to start well uh, we'll expect proceedings to start at about midday and uh, we are going to time it with the live crossing because we understand that you'll be crossing live at uh, two o'clock this afternoon because other political parties are also having their closing rally so we will time our rally to start uh, officially when uh, Prince Mangosudu Butelezi speaks at two o'clock but we will have other events before that uh, where we'll be talking to our party faithfuls and having some entertainment and just enjoying the last few days and wait for uh, 9th of May. Okay. 
Mr. Singh, thank you very much for your time. Thank you indeed. Well, certainly it's going to be now the final push, as they call it, ahead of the May the 8th elections. The IFP, the Treasurer General, Mr. Naren Singh, saying the party is well aware of the challenge that lies ahead, but they are pretty confident that come May the 8th, they would have done enough work on the ground to convince or woe voters ahead of those crucial polls. Simpiwa and Pell, it's back to you in Johannesburg. And that is our reporter Simpiwa Makanya coming to us live from KZN where the IFP will be hosting their final round.